John Gottman is one of the top marital researchers in the entire world. He became famous for saying he could watch a couple argue for three minutes and predict in the 90th percentile if they'll get a divorce. Think about that. Just watching you argue for three minutes, Gottman said, I can predict whether your marriage is going to make it, and he's right 90% of the time. Now listen, I could do that too. If I'm watching you argue and one of you had an ax in your hand, I'm going to say, I don't think they're going to make it. I think that that's like really bad. So what was it that Gottman watched? What did he observe that if it was habitually present? Now that word habitual is very important. I'm going to mention four different things that Gottman notices if any one of them is present habitually, continually, then he would say your marriage is in trouble. Now here's what he calls the four horsemen. Number one is criticism. Now Gottman would say this, in any marriage it is totally fine for you to say that you're unhappy about the condition of the apartment. You're unhappy about how the cleanliness of the home. That's not criticism. That's what he calls complaint. Complaint is totally legitimate that you say, I would like for the house to be cleaner. Criticism, though, is when you say something like this. Listen, I know you're a slob, and I know you don't care about cleanliness, but I want the house to be cleaner. Gottman said you just did a character assassination on that person. You said cleanliness was because that person's a slob and he just doesn't care. Gottman says if you habitually do that, if that's how you always break things up, then he would say you're, divorced, you're headed towards divorce. Now listen, all of us have done that. So if you've done that once or twice or three times, four times, don't worry, Gottman's not talking about you. He's saying if you regularly do that, then you could be heading towards divorce, and he's right 90% of the time. Second is contempt. Contempt is this idea that it used to be that you had positive thoughts towards your spouse. Certainly when you were dating, certainly when you were engaged, right? I mean, Noreen and I would go to a restaurant, and I would say something to her, and she would just laugh when we were dating, like, <laughs> Tim, Tim. <laughs> that was brilliant. And I'm like, yeah, I'm actually having an off day. You know what I mean? I mean, just positive thoughts towards each other. Gottman says that slowly, over time, those positive thoughts are replaced by negative thoughts, which mean, but what is the first thing that comes to mind when you think about your spouse? Listen to this. This is very important. Gottman says contempt is the first thing you think about your spouse is a negative. Your spouse walks in the room, and the first thing you think is a negative thought towards your spouse, not a positive thought. Now listen, please. We've all done this. But Gottman says if you habitually do it, if this is your habit, if this is your tendency, you're heading towards divorce. Third, defensiveness. Um, if your spouse brings up something about the cleanliness of the house, like, hey, I, I, I want us to do a better job trying to clean up, and your first response is, well, listen, you don't clean up either. It's not just me, it's you. If you bring up finances and you say, listen, I think we need to tighten up how we use the credit card, and your first response is, hey, you misuse the credit card too. It's not just me. Gottman calls that defensiveness. Now let's talk about the last one. The last one is a unique term called stonewalling. Stonewalling means this. We don't even argue anymore. I I'm, I'm tired of arguing. Arguing doesn't help. Talking doesn't help. I don't care what you think about me anymore. Yeah, you're disappointed in me. So what? I know you're disappointed in me. And to be honest, I don't care anymore. Gottman became famous for saying this. Show me a couple who argues I can save the marriage. Show me a couple who doesn't even argue anymore, and I don't think I can save that marriage because there's nothing to save. They don't have the emotional energy even to argue. They're like a stone wall with each other. Now listen, this is pretty serious and explains why the divorce rate in our country hovers right around 33%, right? Couples get locked into this and they do not know how to get out. In future mini talks, we're going to talk about how to get out. But for right now, it'd probably do us well to go before the Lord and ask, are any of these four present in how I think or speak to my spouse? And then I would suggest you have an honest conversation with your spouse to say, are there any that you perceive are present? Now here's the really good news. Gottman's not a Christian. 
He's not banking on the power of the Holy Spirit to change people, right? We have the power of the Holy Spirit. Even if these are present in your marriage, it doesn't mean you're going to get a divorce. Why? Because Paul says in Ephesians that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly beyond all we ask or think. Yes, the four horsemen are real and are powerful indicators, but it's not the end of the story. We know the Holy Spirit is the end of the story. 